Okay guys, so I know printmaking is not always everybody's favorite because you think you get stuck with the fish or the animal blue stamps and that's all you can make. But really there's so much more over here you can do. You just gotta think outside the box a little bit. And one of those ways is with the Jelly Printing Plate, okay? So Jelly's just the brand name company for this. This is a resin plate, which just means it's kind of plasticky but without being solid. So it's kind of like jello where it wiggles. What you do with this is on one side you'll paint your design. Whatever designs you want to go with, it will leave a mono print when we're done with it, which means it's a one time print. It's one of a kind because it's only good for one time when you'll see how that works. So I'm just going to print or paint, I'm sorry, some color onto my jelly plate. Now here's where the fun begins. You make your design on the plate before you print it on your paper. So you can turn your paintbrush around and draw some designs in it. Maybe you want to use like the texture roller and take out some texture on it. Mine kind of slid a little bit there. Can you see that okay? Or you can use like these little bumps and make some texture with it. And then you'll print it. So just like everything else, you'll flip it over. You'll set it on your paper and your prints and it'll leave the design. But the fun thing about jelly prints is that you can layer your prints on top of each other. So that blue one's a one-time print, but I can use it for like a background piece and do something else on top of it. So I keep going with it. Hope I'm getting paint all over my arm. Um, let's see, this time I'm gonna put my little seahorse in here and make some designs with it. Whoops, sliding all around. It is kind of woo, slick, so you gotta be careful with what you're using. All right, so I kind of like that now. I'm going to print maybe right on top of my blue, right next to it, show some layers. So I'm just kind of pressing it down. And then I'll pull it up and you can see my layers. Another fun thing to do with jelly prints, I would let this start. All right, let's try that again. So what I'm gonna do this time is a reduction print where I'm putting all my paint on my jelly plate, but I'm gonna put something to reduce the amount of paint that goes on the paper, which means I'm going to block it from getting the paper and how I'm gonna do that is I've cut out a C from the magazine so I'm gonna put that right on my plate right on top of that paint and then when I print the C doesn't show up and then I can do all kinds of patterns with it on top and everything else so this is the jelly plate you wash it like normal sit in the sink till it dries and then it goes back into the little plastic container. Have fun with it.